Hey, what's up you guys? It's Samantha. So welcome to this video. It's finally being posted. It took me a lot longer than I expected to heal from my surgery. So I wanted to wait as long as I could to post this just so you could see like the final result. It's been exactly three weeks today since I had my surgery. He said I would be swollen anywhere from two to four weeks. So I'm still like right in the middle of that. Uh, the swelling has gone down like dramatically since um, a couple of weeks ago and even last week but as you can tell I don't know if you can tell actually but my voice is still very um, I don't even know how to describe it it's not like raspy or anything it's just like it feels very restricted and he said that since I had surgery right around here my vocal cords are still swollen so that's probably why I can't speak as high as I used to for now anyways um, he said that I sh my voice should be going back to normal and to expect it to be fine once the swelling is gone. So this is how it looks right now. I still have a little bit of bruising right here, as you can see, which kind of makes it look a lot more prominent than it is. It's very flat, it's very, looks good, looks good. The incision is up there. I'm gonna be posting a bunch of pictures and stuff along with the clips, so um, you'll see the incision up close and everything like that. I'm very happy with the result. I think that with the next couple of weeks to come, the results will only be getting better and better since the swelling is, will be going down. You can kind of see that I'm pretty swollen in this area. Um, yeah, because before I really didn't have any um, squishiness under here. And like, I don't, I don't really care, but it just wasn't there before. And there still is a little bit of numbness right very close to the incision, which has... It was really scary at first, but it's definitely gone down so much. So I know that I'm not just like numb here. It's just because of the swelling, of course. I have so much footage from before the surgery and then after the surgery, and I have a lot of pictures and stuff. It'll all be in this video, so make sure you watch the very end. A little bit of a trigger warning. There is some pretty graphic images, some blood pooling almost. I don't know if it was like, I don't know if you can actually call it bruising. It was just a lot of redness and um, I wasn't even irritated. It was just a lot of redness right here underneath where the initial bandage was. That's pretty much all I want to say for now. I don't want to talk too much. Um, so I'll see you guys at the end of this video. Enjoy. So me and my mom just got to our hotel room. Um, we're just chilling now. She's like sitting right in front of me. She's working. Quote unquote working. The hotel room is super nice. I'll like insert a clip or something of a little tour. We have our or my pre-op appointment at 4 p.m. So we have a couple hours and we have to go over there. Um, I think I just have to like sign the, what are they called? Like the contracts or whatever? The pre-operative paperwork. Yeah, I have to do like the pre-operative paperwork. <laughs> um, and I have to take the before and after picture, well, the before pictures for the before and after. And yeah, I'll talk to the doctor and probably the anesthesiologist and just make sure everything is all set and yeah that's pretty much it for right now catch up with you guys later so we just got back to our hotel from the pre-op appointment and it wasn't bad it was actually kind of cool they answered a lot of our questions and took pre-op pictures like i thought they were going to there was like so many forms that i had to fill out it was kind of ridiculous but i guess i understand I thought that I would do my little room tour now since I'm just chilling again. This is the bed area. TV's like right in front of it. Window over there. And then if you spin, that's where you come in. So I'll like go over to the door. So you like come in here. And then you have this little kitchen area, little bar, the fridge, cabinets, all that stuff. Keep walking, there's a mirror. Hey, what up, what up? We have a little sitting area. Super cute. Oh, that's my mom, hey. And then over here, that's where that was. And then over here we have the bathroom area and this little getting ready station where I have all of my medications and stuff. Everything you need. It's a pretty big bathroom. This is where we're doing my pre-op shower super fun <laughs> that's pretty much it for the hotel room it's not anything crazy but it's cozy it's cute love it 
Dr. Zakowski is actually picking me and my mom up from our hotel room. Um, well, not our hotel room, like our hotel, which I thought was kind of cool, kind of weird, kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so he's going to be picking us up at like 5.30, heading over to the surgery center, and then we'll be getting started. Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, this is my first day post-op. Uh, my surgery was yesterday. I'm kind of out of it right now, but my voice sounds like a truck driver, so don't judge me. Thanks. I have a little bit of soreness in my throat. Um, it's not too bad, though. The doctor is supposed to be coming around 7 o'clock tonight just to check my bandages and rewrap my head. And well, he'll see if I need to be rewrapped. Um, but yeah, he said everything went super well. It's as flat as can be. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Today is day three. Wait, day two. It's Thursday. I had surgery on Tuesday. You figure it out. I'm doing pretty well. My voice is still very, very hoarse. Uh, the doctor said that was normal, it would be back to normal by the time I'm done healing. Um, my face is very, very swollen, as you can see from the electrolysis. I ended up having about seven hours of electrolysis. Um, for my face, it took about four hours, and then for the South Pole area, as she called it, it took about three and a half. Um, so... Yeah, I'm still healing, still doing well. Um, I think my doctor is pulling in right now. I'm like looking outside, I think I can see him. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Bye. So it is, what's today? I don't even know what day it is, honestly. The wrapping got taken off um, today. Yesterday, I'm literally so out of it. I don't even know what day it is. But you can see I have some bruising, some pretty intense bruising actually, around the area. Obviously, I have this bandage. He said that I can take the bandage off on Wednesday, so I have about another five days or so. Um, it's not too bad though, I don't mind it. Hey, Mom. And my mom just came in. My face is doing pretty well. The electrology lady said that my face reacted super, super well to the treatment, meaning like the hair literally was just falling out. So hopefully I'll have a really good reduction. Uh, I have another appointment with her May 7th. So hopefully that'll be the last time I have to go back. Huh? Video, to my mom wants me to say goodbye to you. I mean, my mom wants me to say goodbye to her in the video tomorrow, so. Hey, Mom. She's just packing up. But yeah, we're doing well. We're back in my dorm room. I don't know if I said that already, but... I've never slept in a dorm. My mom's never slept in a dorm before. She's excited. We have this little bed that we're going to try to not fall out of, so that should be interesting. I'll talk to you guys later. So today is Saturday. My voice is still kind of struggling, if you will. My face is a little bit red still, but the swelling has definitely gone down a bunch. I'm almost back to normal, hopefully. So yeah, I managed to put my brows on and some mascara, a little bit of lipstick today. Made myself feel a little bit, uh, a little bit more girly, a little bit prettier. I don't have too many updates for you guys today. Just taking it easy in my room, relaxing, keeping compresses on my face just to try to get this swelling out. Thank you guys so much for watching my vlog and being so concerned with my surgery. It really does mean so much to me that you guys have been supporting me throughout this whole thing and throughout this whole journey of mine. So hopefully y'all will still be here when the next surgery comes. A little bit of foreshadowing, um, which will hopefully be soon as well. So today is Monday. I did go to class today. I only had a few classes, so I pushed through it. I'm wearing this turtleneck just because I still do have my bandage on. The wrap is completely off. I just, I wanted to make this because I do have some very intense bruising. I love this yellowy color. 
that you see is all bruising. Flash, you guys, we're just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, the doctor, Dr. Zakowski said that that was very normal, that the bruising that starts here has to go somewhere, obviously. So from the massaging that I've been doing, it's been spreading outwards and then downwards and eventually it will just dissipate into nothing, you know? I still have not shaved my face since the electrolysis and as you can see I have no dark hairs on my face which is amazing. I do have a lot of very fine light light hairs but I figured, I thought that was like just peach fuzz or something. I don't know like I know that cis girls and people that don't have facial hair like I had do have hair on their face. I don't know if it's the same as what is growing in on me now but there is something. Yeah I didn't have to shave today. I put makeup on and you can't can't tell. Let me just focus on it. So it looks good. That highlight though girl can't really see anything. As for the other region that I got done um, it hasn't been as it hasn't been swollen like whatsoever really which is really weird because she said that it was much more difficult to remove the hair down there but there is some very very intense bruising it's like almost black in the places that they injected the lidocaine which she said would be normal and to expect that because the lidocaine shots are so so painful i'd kind of be shocked if it didn't leave a bruise tomorrow or the next day like depending on whether it falls off. He said not to like rip it off obviously, but kind of soak it in the shower and once it falls off on its own, I'm good to go. So yeah, I'll keep you guys update. I need to like not say that at the end of every single clip, but So yeah, that's the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys weren't too grossed out by the pictures. I know they can be pretty scary looking, but um, it was it was an intense procedure, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have any regrets. I'm so glad that I did it, obviously. My confidence has immediately shot up and I have honestly never felt better. My voice is really annoying me, but just knowing that it'll be going back to normal soon is keeping me going. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you aren't already so that you can see when my next video comes out. And is that it? I always forget like things that I have to say. So I was like, I wanna make sure I'm not forgetting anything, but I don't think I am. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.